The Emperor's New Clothes, a story based upon a popular story by Calm Reason. And so one day the Emperor called for some tailors to help him choose a new outfit. And they turned up. They said, we will spin you the finest cloth ever before seen. And indeed, seen is an interesting point because... A fool cannot see this cloth. It takes a wise man to be able to see this cloth. And I guess you kind of think you know the rest of the story. But here's a word of warning, dear listener. You don't. You know what you think is the rest of the story. The story you know goes something like this. The weavers pretended to weave cloth out of nothing. And the emperor was so vain, he pretended he could see it. And everyone else went along with the pretense, until a little boy said, He's got no clothes on. And that is the version of the story which is told, but it's not the true story. You see, when the weavers turned up and they said to the emperor, Come on, tell us how much you want to spend on this clothing, on this cloth. Tell us why you think you want the best suit in the world. He said, Well, I'm going to level with you. I know that no matter what suit you give me, you could give the king or the emperor or the duke in the other country another suit just as good. I want to see how far I can push this. Get your thinking caps on. Come up with an idea. And that's when they said to him, look at this fine cloth. A fool can't see this cloth. And instead of the emperor saying, oh, you're right, he got his dagger out of his sheath pressed it to the throat of the thieving, conning tailor, and said, your life could be forfeit right now, but you've given me an idea, turning white with fright and quaking with fear. The tailor said, your majesty, I meant no harm. Tell me, what is it you desire? Now, a good chunk of the rest of the story carries on in the way you already understand, but with one slight difference. The emperor knew damn well he was naked. He pretended that he was pretending. He was stood there bollock naked as the day he was born in front of a mirror, saying to his courtiers, My, look at my clothing. Isn't this smart? And watching as every one of those suck-ups said to him, Oh yes, it's great, your majesty. It's wonderful. We think that's fantastic. And the tailors were quaking in their boots, saying, I don't believe this. I really don't believe this is working. I thought we'd be out of here with a bag full of gold long before now, but this is just flying. But only to each other, they kept that secret tight-lipped. And then, of course, comes the day of the Great Parade. Now, the Emperor's really going out on a limb. He's really pushing it hard. He's got all his guards out there. All of his captains and all of the foot soldiers are all saying, My, sir, that's a fine suit. And then the one boy puts up his hands and says, He's got nothing on. Ah, this is where we stop the story, dear listener. Of course, the story you've heard, everyone falls about laughing. But no, the true story is there's a shocked silence. And the tailors remember that knife against their throats. The captains remember the kicking the general gave them. And the foot soldiers remember the anger of the captains. And the foot soldier grabs the boy and says, retract that statement. The boy is dragged away to the centre of the town. The armies surround him. A judge turns up and they read a proclamation for doubting the emperor's fine clothes. This boy shall be condemned to death. The father of the boy, pleading, says, But sire, where does it say, in what books of our land does it say, that the punishment should be death? Maybe the boy's simply a fool, like you said. And at that point... The tailors bring out a book, old and wise-looking, bound in leather, written in fine, florid, foreign hand, and quaking say, I swear this book is the word of God. It is the law that any that doubt shall be put to death. And as the drips of sweat fall from the tailor's brow, the emperor holds up the book and says, Indeed it is so. The father of the boy pleading says, but that's not the word of God. The judge cries out, Blasphemy! Stone them both to death. The boy's mother 
sobbing with tears, throws herself on the Emperor's mercy. Please, Your Honour, please, Sire, please spare my family. The Emperor looks kindly upon her and says, Hmm, it is time I took a wife. And after a moment's silence, he looks to her, and she looks to her husband, and he says to her, And so, madam, will you be my bride? She falters a little, and at this point, the king's soldiers are starting to gather stones for the stoning. Come now, lady, which is it to be? Will you marry me, or will you be stoned to death? After all, are these not fine clothes? And sobbing, she says, Yes, sire, that is indeed a wonderful garment. We shall be married tomorrow. Of course, a horrible story like this could never be passed down the generations. And so, those quaking, fearful people made sure that their children learned the version you know.